You are now tuning in to Uniutama FM with the news update. Brought to you by Nadra here at Uniutama FM. Informasi minda anda. A very good morning everybody and thank you for tuning in to Uniutama FM. In politics, Barisan National will be rebranded as a new coalition made up of political parties and non-governmental organisations. AMNO President and BN Chairman Datuk Sri Dr Ahmad Zahid Hamidi said it would be done once discussions with component parties had been finalised. He said the rebranding would see AMNO, MCA, MIC, People's Progressive Party and Parti Bersatu Rakyat Sabah remain in the coalition with the entry of other parties that had shared similar aspirations and idealism. Since the government had agreed to lower the minimum voting age from 21 to 18, AMNO would propose to lower the minimum age of being a member from 18 to 16. In economy, Malaysian ringgit is likely to trade in a range of between 4.13 and 4.15 against the US dollar, following guidance from fluctuations in the greenback, along with worries of a prolonged US-China trade war. FXTM Currency Strategy and Market Research Global Head Jamil Ahmad said the local currency would not take guidance from Malaysian economic or domestic news over this coming week. He said US President Donald Trump's threat to impose further tariffs on China as well as his warning to exclude Canada from a new NAFTA could push the US dollar higher in the near term over trade tension fears. In Education a UNESCO club will be set up at all secondary schools, public universities, polytechnics and vocational colleges nationwide from next year. Minister of Education Mazli Malik, who is also Malaysian National Commission for UNESCO President, said this was aimed at promoting sustainable development as a culture and lifestyle. This is among the Education Ministry's effort to ensure that the world today and tomorrow will be sustainable towards the environment. In sports, Malaysian squash queen Datuk Nicole David kicked off her campaign with a winning start by advancing into the quarterfinals of the 2018 Oracle NetSuite Open Squash Championships in California yesterday. The sixth seed, Nicole, who received a bye in the opening round, took only 26 minutes to demolish Fiona Moverly of England, 11-8, 11-5 and 11-4 in a second round match held at San Francisco Bay Area Glass Court. Nicole, who finished as runner-up last year, will meet the 2016 champion Laura Massaro of England in the last eight match on Monday, after Massaro overpowered Donna Loban of Australia 6-11, 11-9, 11-8 and 11-4 on Friday. And now for the weather forecast. A mostly cloudy day is in the forecast today with the possibility of thunderstorms here in Changan Kedah. The temperature will have a high of 31 degrees Celsius and a low of 24 degrees Celsius. Most of the day will be cloudy but thunderstorms are expected in the afternoon and evening. So better have your umbrellas packed just in case. We advise our listeners to drive carefully in the case of thunderstorms and remember to turn your headlights on. That is all for the news update. Tune in next time to Uniotama FM for more news updates.